Hello, my audience. Today, Truth Detective is going to be reviewing ya a book by Tony Robbins, the holy grail of investing. This book is very interest interesting. <sighs> Thanks for coming to watch this book review. Tony Robbins, the newest book by the man. He has grown a beard and changed his style. He's wearing a suit just like this truth detective guy. And this book, it's split in two parts. And the first part is Tony Robbins talking himself about the possibilities and the opportunities in investing in this current, current age. And he also talks about, for example, the energy possibilities related to renewable energy sources. It's interesting stuff, but at the same time I feel that he might himself feel a little hopeless where the world is going. And he seems very environmentally conscious in this book. I was impressed by that because when we go to the second part and we look at what these top money people in this world Think, for example, about big oil and the opportunities over there. They are mostly for this stuff. But it's interesting that, for example, here we have a guy. And, you know, these are the people that are not individual investors. They are, these are the people that manage funds that the investors, you know, give money to to be invested and these are for profit companies that manage money and for example here is total asset under management 77 billion like 77 billion and this money is was usually you know, invested into companies that were related to technology and healthcare. There was also some intelligence stuff over here that was talked about. Like stuff related to government intelligence. And there was one investor from Korea. And he kind of made it very clear that America compared to the ASA in terms of this investing game is very different. There's a lot less regulation in America. So, yeah, you could call that freedom. I don't know. I'm from Finland. So, it's very interesting to learn about this stuff. Because, of course, everything that's talked about over here has huge effect on each one of Finnish people's lives also. Like we don't live in a that kind of a bubble, maybe. He also interviewed over here the founder of Sun Microsystems. I'm from the computer in industry originally. And it was interesting to learn about this man, the founder of Sun Microsystems. And didn't that spurn the company Oracle and Java programming language? So, not all of these top money management people in this world, not all of them were originally entrepreneurs either. Some were bankers or working for the banking industry or Wall Street. So, they went straight for the money, so to say. But some were entrepreneurs, they formed companies. 
And that's where they got their, you know, understanding of how to create something, an organized, you know, this system. And it was interesting, but I feel that Tony Robbins was the only guy from here that had, you know, a real big, big, like big picture understanding that can be applied at every levels of your financial life. Whatever, like at whatever state you might be, it's interesting that Tony Robbins can give you ideas and suggestions. That's what he's re really doing over here. Of how to use your money better, how to save more, and also how to manage money in general better. And I'm going to say that if you just want to learn to manage money better and you are, for example, well, I'm going to say that if you read this book, you're going to learn that and that's going to help you if you're 15, it's going to help you if you're 30 and it's also going to help you if you're 45. It's also going to help you if you're retired. Everybody can gain something from this. But this, I'm not really sure. Uh, it's kind of uh, another building block. You know, he gives you, a he gives you a couple of more ideas over here that you can use. But I believe that these structures that he gives for money management over here. They can be applied at every stage of your journey. And I'm just going to say one thing about this man. You see, we are ma wearing matching suits, but we are not wearing matching shirts. And why is that? I'm going to say to you that this man is himself a millionaire. And I don't really doubt why. He has been a hugely influential public speaker and made, you know, these seminars and he has figured out a way to create a brand of himself and, you know, take money from people at each levels of his team. But he has also become a philanthropist through his career, kind of like some other big players. But what I'm going to say about this man is that you're a millionaire, but I can see that that shirt is really uncomfortable. Tommy Robbins, if I ever meet you in real life, there's just one question I want to ask you. And it's about that fucking shirt, that freaking shirt, that white shirt of yours. Did you feel uncomfortable or more uncomfortable in this situation where your picture was taken for the cover of the book because of that white shirt? That's my question for Tony Robbins. If I can only ask you one question. What is that shirt? You know, I think that that shirt might have cost something like two I mean two hundred dollars, but it's a bad shirt. This is how a color in a shirt should be made. This is like Hawaii style, but of course it doesn't look very business. But I just feel that you know that shirt. And this text over here, you see how it's very hard to read the Holy Grail over here. Like, how did they pass on this? I make better thumbnails in my videos and I don't get their paid any money to do this. The spacing over here is great, but this is just unacceptable. And the shirt. Tony Robbins, freaking man! I need to tell you something about shirts. Just look at this. Just look at this. 
man, just get these, you know, top freaking money guys, you know, to wear this brand. Man, look at this. This is how a shirt should close. And this is how it should look. Of course, you could add a tie to that. But this is how it should look when you wear a suit. The color should overlay on top of this. Was it, what is this called, you know, in suit? I know. But see, that doesn't happen over here. It's be probably because this manufacturer of this shirt was just a completely different than this suit. You know, a different tailor or something like that. So, Tony Robbins, you are also wearing a mismatching tie. It's black. Like, it should be the color of your suit. <laughs> Like small details, <laughs> fuck man, they matter. But for real, it's a great book. It's a great book. And <laughs> I'm going to say that from these, from these other books, you know, I'm, going to say, <laughs> I'm going to show how much big of a Tony Robbins fan I am. Unlimited power. <laughs> uh, it's a freaking great book. And man, he was young back then, but when you look at the when you look at him like in this you know like, like you can see that the guy is freaking suffering over here like what is the problem you know he's going through something probably I don't know if it's health health related stuff but he was talking about some you know big accident that he got in snowboarding over here in this book so I don't, I don't know, I don't know, but you know, look over here. I didn't even recognize, you know, that that's Tony Robbins from like compared to this book. Yeah, but I'm going to say that from these money management books, um, like this was pretty, you know, weak. I don't know if I gained anything from this. I'm going to say that the best Tony Robbins books that you should read at this point are these three still Awaken the Giant Within Money Master the Game At any level you are going to gain something from this and unlimited power If you read the if you have never read self help in your life just freaking get these books just read these books they won't cost you over 40 dollars or euros like four reels and you're going to learn something from this man i have learned like huge lessons from this man and it's amazing how none of his books is really about what's in the cover these are one of those books you know that you never judge by the cover Tony Robbins can talk about freaking money and he can talk through money even spirituality and that's rare I'm going to say that Tony Robbins is one of the best spiritual teachers even though he never touches upon the issue of spirituality because he gives you the methods and tools and the ways it's one of the best spiritual teachers out there. This guy's no joke. Yeah. I highly recommend reading these books. But the newest book was it just a cash grab based on the guy's name or something like that. Not really. Not really. I think this is an important book to be written. But I feel that very few people are going to get the message behind this book. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. 
I tried to film this review so many times and I just I just you know can't make it any better than this this review I don't know why but this is a very hard book to review you know I don't have much knowledge about this you know investing stuff <laughs> you know I don't invest <laughs> why would I read a book about investing because I knew and I know that when Tony Robbins talks about that subject, it's not really about that at all. It's about life. And as I said, he can talk about some subject and he will make you understand something else and make you make a better decision in that something else. That's amazing. And I'm going to say that if I would ever meet this man in real life, I would hope to meet Tony Robbins in real life. It would be awesome. I think I have something great for you. <laughs> because I have, I have discovered that there's a lot of rhyme in your older books. These are, these are like, these are like songs, you know? But this newest book, there wasn't that you have lost your inner poet. I don't know what has happened. Yeah. But in these books, there's freaking magic in the language. For sure. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you learned something about shirts. And I freaking hope that if I ever get to ask Tony Robbins this question, I really hope that he doesn't answer that that was a really, really expensive shirt. <laughs> because the color of it is so stupidly decide this is the way you do it man <laughs> thanks for watching this video